Hey everybody, I will do average population of each continent. An exercise of basic join section of sequin hacker rank. We're given these table city and country, and we're asked to query the names of all the continents and their respective average city populations. Rounding down to the nearest integer. Rounding down near integer meaning floor, okay? Now, first we're gonna combine these two tables because we need the name of the continent. The name of the continent is in country.continent. And then we have to group them by the continent. So everything that's all the rows for a certain continent will be collapsed to a single row. And then we'll get the average of the population of each city, of every city, right? Uh, mind you, we're going to use city.population, not country.population. Okay. So don't confuse these two. So let's get started here. We're going to say select. Let me just start with star from city. Now we need to combine these two tables. So we need to do a join. Which join I'm gonna use? Here's the diagram. We're gonna do this one in the center called the inner join where we have table A and table B. We're gonna find the records that are in the intersection. That is, they both appear in A and in B based on the country code. So let's get back. Uh, we're gonna do from city, inner join, country that's the name of the other table on country dot code that's the column has to match equals the city dot country code column okay that's nice now we need to get the name of all the continents now name is in the column continent in the country table so here instead of star i'm going to say country dot continent so we get a list of all the continent names, okay? And then we need to get the average city population. Now let's just do comma population here, but we have to say population from where? City, not from country, city.population. Let's see what we get just with this query. So as you can see, we have multiple rows for the same continent. And this is because each of these is a different city. So what we have to do is take these three and combine them, group them by the name of the continent, and then we got to take the average of these values for the population. So to do that, let's go here and add group by at the end. Group by country dot continent. Okay, now for population, I want to take the average. So I'm going to use the AVG function. Now it wants us to uh, round down to the nearest integer. That if you do down, that means floor, right? If you have 2.5, it becomes two, for example. Now we got that, let's run the code. And there you go, the average city population by continent.